Organoids are cells that are taken from patients, both disease tissue and normal tissue, and can be grown in the laboratory as three-dimensional clusters of cells. In this research, we were hoping to find out how well these organoid cell lines reflect the tumors from which they were grown. This is really important because when we do research, we use these as a tool or a model system to study the cancer and test the efficacy of different cancer drugs. And we want models that really reflect the disease accurately. Compared to the cell lines that we've more traditionally used, growing in the laboratory on two-dimensional plates. With these organoid cultures, we use conditions that at least to some extent reflect the way cells grow in the body by using very specialized three-dimensional growth conditions. Whereas cancer cell lines miss out many of the features that we think are important. Mouse models may be more accurate, but they're expensive and very complex. Organoids perhaps might occupy this middle space. As we are taking um, biopsy samples from patients' tumours um, and then deriving an organoid, we wanted to ensure that the organoid that we derived faithfully captured all the mutations that were present in the patient's biopsy sample. We were amazed to see that for the majority of patients, at least 80% of the mutations were captured by the organoids. Cancers are polyclonal, which means that they're made up of thousands of cells um, that can harbour different mutations. Um, as an organoid is derived from a patient biopsy, we are taking some of this polyclonality into culture and we have shown that we can maintain some of this polyclonality when we derive an organoid. When we treat a patient with a drug, um, the effect of the drug will be the cumulative effect across all of those thousands of tumour cells. So when we treat an organoid with our drug, it is possible that in the future we could use this to mimic what might happen in a patient. The main aims of this project were to determine if a derived organoid captured all the mutations that were present in the patient biopsy that it was derived from, and secondly, to determine if they were amenable to high throughput drug screening. As we can propagate organoids to large numbers in culture, this allowed us to put them into multi-well plates where we could look at the effect of 50 drugs at one time. Personalised cancer treatments have led to um, advancements in a large number of cancers. However, the problem with these treatments is that they usually only have this great response in a small number of patients. Um, and this has led to a huge demand on us as researchers and scientists to identify genetic biomarkers of response so we can successfully identify those patients that will show these great responses to treatments. As organoids are derived from patient biopsy samples, we can use them to carry out drug screening and sequencing, and therefore they can be used to bridge the gap between cancer genetics and patient trials. This was really an amazing collaboration between three groups. My group here at the Sanger Institute, the group of Hans Klavers at the Ubrecht Institute in the Netherlands, and the group of Matthew Meyerson at Harvard University in the US. And it was really important that we brought together these different teams who had different sets of skills and expertise that really allowed us to evolve and push forward this research. The current set of cell lines is too small to really capture how much variation there is in cancer. And ultimately this is variation is what determines whether patients are sensitive to a cancer drug or not. So we would like to generate a much larger collection of organoids for many different cancer types. And this should enable us to have a much better understanding of why some patients respond to different drugs, whereas others do not. And so we're very excited about the application and use of these organoids for the future, both to improve our ability to predict drug response, but also potentially to really personalize cancer care. Mm -hmm.